What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the new goalkeepers in FIFA 23. Obviously with the addition of Team of the Season, we've got a fair few goalkeepers in the list right now. The question is, who reigns on top? So we have got a variety of keepers, like we said, and in terms of the newest one at the moment, we are looking at Testegen. I believe the last two or the last couple that are going to be, I'd imagine Donnarumma is, is kind of favourites at the minute, and then also in Serie A. I believe Mignan is, is doing quite bits, so we will see as they come in who will basically be the keepers for them leagues. But we have got a nice selection of team of the season. Not necessarily the highest rating that I personally prefer. Van der Sar, again, will always be on top for me. Is my best goalkeeper that I've used so far. But there is a couple that have definitely taken the eye from team of the season. The one thing I am finding, unfortunately, is... It feels like they're nerfing keepers. Same as any players. Harry Kane was a big one during the Prem Cup. Felt incredible. Striking, everything, goals galore. As soon as that week ended, he suddenly didn't do what he what he normally was doing. I don't know. That is obviously a conspiracy theory more than anything. But the keepers are very similar as well. Courtois this week feels like mud. Absolutely feels like mud. Even though I do know he's a decent keeper... He just doesn't feel like the S category that we had before. But the one person that does, and I'm going to put him in A-plus for this, is to Stegen. A, a few people have disagreed with this, but personally, from the Cup and from a few Rivals games, to Stegen has genuinely been quite a good shot stopper. I don't know if it's just a coincidence that they seem like the roles have reversed for Courtois. People may still enjoy him, and maybe if you forced him into the net for champs and all of your matches, you might find some good games with him. Personally, that is where it's gone for this time. In terms of Yashin, I've seen him a hell of a lot more recently with obviously the 90 plus icon pick. We have definitely seen a lot more of the topper icons and most definitely more Yashins. In terms of him, I feel like he's been incredible as always. He is one of them keepers that personally, I've never really used him for a long stint of time because normally we've had a team of the year goalkeeper. We've had another special, a team of the year season. But the Prime seems to do the absolute business. And whether we see an upgrade of him going into the end of team of the season to shapeshifters or footies will be a very interesting debate. With obviously a few of the other icon goalkeepers, check for me has always been fodder. And to be honest, Schmeichel can get in the bin as well by now. Casillas little bit on the kind of lower side now from the Trophy Titans. I feel like he's a good goalkeeper, but when we're looking at now the team of the seasons, I'm going to have to go one down for him. He is slowly becoming less relevant in terms of what we need from a keeper. One really good goalkeeper that we got for very minimal value is Edison. He has been absolutely outstanding for me. Any sort of Prem Cup before, obviously, we got Allison has been absolutely brilliant. And we've seen him a hell of a lot with, obviously, the introduction of Prem Team of the Season if people didn't do Allison, Obviously, the links to Man City, to Ruben Diaz, obviously to Haaland, KDB, and also to foot birthday Bernardo Silva... He has been there for great links as well for the Brazilian links as well for two of the Saudi guys in Talisca and also Romarinho. I'd like to tell you about Skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts from trusted sellers, pro players and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. We do have as well some of the lower goalkeepers in terms of team of the season. Blake's one of them. We also have the Brazilian goalkeeper from the Saudi. Not really doing too much. And it's a shame for this guy. Obviously, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. But in terms of the English 4 goalkeeper, the links are just not going to do it for him. English 4 is, is very hard on its own to get links. Let alone putting him in, well, <laughs> putting him in Chile's nation. <laughs> Being Chilean is not going to give him any doubts of any sort of team at all. Unless you are playing him on completely zero chem. There is really no value in having him. Then we move on to two of the most disappointing ratings. One of them is fair enough. One of them is an absolute complete shambles. We have obviously De Gea and Ramsdale. De Gea, I could kind of see. Community team of the season, maybe would have loved to have seen him a little bit higher rated. Obviously, with community, they set the precedent of what ratings they are giving A, keepers, and B, the players in general. So we kind of knew that the upgrades weren't going to be absolutely crazy. 
But to say Ramsdale, especially for how many saves, how many uh, kind of top performances he's had during this season, to only be the same as the community team of the season and not even be the highest rated Prem goalkeeper is absolutely criminal. I, I don't know how Allison, even Edison, has managed to. I know Edison technically has won the Premier League now, but in terms of performances, Ramsdale needs to be at least on the Allison level. I don't personally know why. I do, I kind of like Ramsdale at some elements, but he wasn't necessarily up there. Allison most definitely put himself in the top spot. I do think Edison and Allison, from the very start of the game in their goals, have already got that in game ability and have always been pushed very much well in terms of the goalkeepers. De Gea. Again, another nice keeper, very rarely used other than the start of the community. Obviously, if you only had uh, an 88, an 85 goalkeeper, that step up to De Gea, you, pretty much most people got him as an option from red if you did finish your foot champs. And I think Ramsdale is pretty much exactly the same. Very standard, but not necessarily in that top level for me. Koble, the other Bundesliga, well, the only other Bundesliga goalkeeper. Another nice one. I feel like he's a pretty standard keeper. I would go into the A-plus with him after the Bundesliga Cup. I would say he's probably dropped down in terms of being in that category that everybody was using him. He is good for links in terms of Bundesliga players as well. If you have transformed your team, maybe you packed an Nkunku, a Goretzka, somebody who needed Kem, and obviously Kobo is easy for that goalkeeper position. We then also have a few of the lower rated goalkeepers now in terms of what we've had in the past. Never personally liked Dudek. Some people have definitely got on board with the Trophy Titans, but for me, I've just never been a fan of him. Him and Campos have not really made many teams other than when you've kind of tried to have to have a trophy titan in your team or a hero at that matter. Donnarumma, always been sensational. I don't know if it's his height or just general build. He's always been a good goalkeeper. And I can imagine if he does manage to get that team in a season, he would definitely fast track himself into that S. Minyan, another cracking keeper we've seen over the over the year, to be honest. He has always been putting in a shift, and I do think he deserves that spot once more. Again, with a potential team in a season, would potentially put him straight into that S category as well. Then we have the final four. We have two foot birthday goalkeepers, both five-star, five-star, which obviously means S all day long he thinks. But in general, Onana, I'd say at this point now, is going to be fodder more than anything, especially if we are considering other Serie A goalkeepers such as Mignan. But Lafont, again, another one that did really well last year, I want to say. I can't remember if it was, I think it was a future star he managed to get. But this time round, a five-star, five-star. Never going to argue with a goalkeeper that can do a La Croqueta. But in terms of a saver, I'd probably put him one above Onana more than anything. Martinez, Again, probably about the same, to be fair to him. I think in terms of the Prem goalkeepers, we've got the solid set of two. We're kind of only missing really Lloris now, but unfortunately, I don't see him getting anything anytime soon. And finally, we get the goalkeeper that was an SBC during the Eredivisie. Again, another nice keeper that, that potentially could have done something. But I do think now, with obviously the widespread of goalkeepers, this is going to be the list. Like I said, with goalkeepers, it's all about opinion. You could play uh, 500 games with Ramsdale De Gea and they could be your favourite goalkeeper you've used. Or you could have used someone from the fodder career. You could have used Czech, really enjoyed him, and he might be different to this list. But this is totally based on what I personally think from goalkeepers. It's what I've used. I've used most of these goalkeepers. Maybe a couple of, like, I've, I've got him, but personally, I don't really use him. But I do know full well the Kem is going to be a massive value for this. Even though Kem has changed, English 4 is just not going to get into the team. And I guarantee you, he doesn't save as much as Van der Sar to Stegen Yashin. So let me know down below your favourite keeper in the game. Who is the one you're using? Far from that, make sure you do like and subscribe on the channel. And also check out the video on screen. And I'll catch you next week for the next tier list. Peace.